A transistor is a semiconductor device used to amplify or switch electronic signals and electrical power. It is composed of semiconductor material usually with at least three terminals for connection to an external circuit. A voltage or current applied to one pair of the transistor's terminals controls the current through another pair of terminals. Because the controlled output power can be higher than the controlling input power, a transistor can amplify a signal. Today, some transistors are packaged individually, but many more are found embedded in integrated circuits. The transistor is the fundamental building block of modern electronic devices, and is ubiquitous in modern electronic systems. Julius Edgar Lilienfeld patented a field effect transistor in 1926 but it was not possible to actually construct a working device at that time. The first practically implemented device was a point contact transistor invented in 1947 by American physicists John Bardeen, Walter Brattain, and William Shockley. The transistor revolutionized the field of electronics, and paved the way for smaller and cheaper radios, calculators, and computers, among other things. The transistor is on the list of IEEE milestones in electronics, and Bardeen, Brattain, and Shockley shared the 1956 Nobel Prize in Physics for their achievement. Most transistors are made from very pure silicon or germanium, but certain other semiconductor materials can also be used. A transistor may have only one kind of charge carrier, in a field effect transistor, or may have two kinds of charge carriers in bipolar junction transistor devices. Compared with the vacuum tube, transistors are generally smaller, and require less power to operate. Certain vacuum tubes have advantages over transistors at very high operating frequencies or high operating voltages. Many types of transistors are made to standardized specifications by multiple manufacturers. Topic history The thermionic triode, a vacuum tube invented in 1907, enabled amplified radio technology and long-distance telephony. The triode, however, was a fragile device that consumed a substantial amount of power. In 1909 physicist William Eccles discovered the crystal diode oscillator. Polish physicist Julius Edgar Lilienfeld filed a patent for a field effect transistor in Canada in 1925, which was intended to be a solid-state replacement for the triode. Lilienfeld also filed identical patents in the United States in 1926 and 1928. However, Lilienfeld did not publish any research articles about his devices nor did his patents cite any specific examples of a working prototype. Because the production of high-quality semiconductor materials was still decades away, Lilienfeld's solid-state amplifier ideas would not have found practical use in the 1920s and 1930s, even if such a device had been built. In 1934, German inventor Oskar Heil patented a similar device in Europe. From November 17, 1947, to December 23, 1947, John Bardeen and Walter Brattain at AT&T's Bell Labs in Murray Hill, New Jersey of the United States performed experiments and observed that when two gold point contacts were applied to a crystal of germanium, a signal was produced with the output power greater than the input. Solid State Physics Group leader William Shockley saw the potential in this, and over the next few months worked to greatly expand the knowledge of semiconductors. The term transistor was coined by John R. Pierce as a contraction of the term transresistance. According to Lillian Hodison and Vicki Deitch, authors of a biography of John Bardeen, Shockley had proposed that Bell Labs' first patent for a transistor should be based on the field effect and that he be named as the inventor. Having unearthed Lilienfeld's patents that went into obscurity years earlier, lawyers at Bell Labs advised against Shockley's proposal because the idea of a field effect transistor that used an electric field as a grid was not new. Instead, what Bardeen, Brattain, and Shockley invented in 1947 was the first point contact transistor. In acknowledgement of this accomplishment, Shockley, Bardeen, and Brattain were jointly awarded the 1956 Nobel Prize in Physics for their researches on semiconductors and their discovery of the transistor effect. In 1948, the point contact transistor was independently invented by German physicists Herbert Matare and Heinrich Welker while working at the company des Frames et Signo, a Westinghouse subsidiary located in Paris. Matare had previous experience in developing crystal rectifiers from silicon and germanium in the German radar effort during World War II. Using this knowledge, he began researching the phenomenon of «interference» in 1947. 
By June 1948, witnessing currents flowing through point contacts, Matare produced consistent results using samples of germanium produced by Welker, similar to what Bardeen and Bretagne had accomplished earlier in December 1947. Realizing that Bell Labs scientists had already invented the transistor before them, the company rushed to get its transistron into production for amplified use in France's telephone network. The first bipolar junction transistors were invented by Bell Labs' William Shockley, which applied for patent 2,569,347 on June 26, 1948. On April 12, 1950, Bell Labs chemists Gordon Teal and Morgan Sparks had successfully produced a working bipolar NPN junction amplifying germanium transistor. Bell Labs had announced the discovery of this new sandwich transistor in a press release on July 4, 1951. The first high-frequency transistor was the surface barrier germanium transistor developed by Philco in 1953, capable of operating up to 60 MHz. These were made by etching depressions into an n-type germanium base from both sides with jets of indium sulfate until it was a few ten thousandths of an inch thick. Indium electroplated into the depressions formed the collector and emitter, the first prototype. Pocket transistor radio was shown by INTERMETALL a company founded by Herbert Matare in 1952 at the Internationale Funkhausellung Dusseldorf between August 29, 1953 and September 9, 1953. The first production pocket transistor radio was the Regency TR1, released in October 1954. Produced as a joint venture between the Regency Division of Industrial Development Engineering Associates, IDEA and Texas Instruments of Dallas, Texas, the TR-1 was manufactured in Indianapolis, Indiana. It was a near-pocket-sized radio featuring four transistors and one germanium diode. The industrial design was outsourced to the Chicago firm of Painter, Teague and Petertill. It was initially released in one of four different colors, black, bone white, red, and gray. Other colors were to shortly follow. The first production all transistor car radio was developed by Chrysler and Philco Corporations and it was announced in the April 28, 1955 edition of the Wall Street Journal. Chrysler had made the all transistor car radio, Mopar Model 914HR, available as an option starting in fall 1955 for its new line of 1956 Chrysler and Imperial cars, which first hit the dealership showroom floors on October 21, 1955. The first working silicon transistor was developed at Bell Labs on January 26, 1954, by Morris Tannenbaum. The first commercial silicon transistor was produced by Texas Instruments in 1954. This was the work of Gordon Teal, an expert in growing crystals of high purity, who had previously worked at Bell Labs. The first MOSFET actually built was by Kong and Atala at Bell Labs in 1960. Topic: Importance The transistor is the key active component in practically all modern electronics. Many consider it to be one of the greatest inventions of the 20th century. Its importance in today's society rests on its ability to be mass-produced using a highly automated process semiconductor device fabrication that achieves astonishingly low per-transistor costs. The invention of the first transistor at Bell Labs was named an IEEE milestone in 2009, although several companies each produce over a billion individually packaged known as discrete transistors every year. The vast majority of transistors are now produced in integrated circuits often shortened to IC, microchips or simply chips, along with diodes, resistors, capacitors and other electronic components, to produce complete electronic circuits. A logic gate consists of up to about 20 transistors whereas an advanced microprocessor, as of 2009, can use as many as 3 billion transistors MOSFETs. About 60 million transistors were built in 2002, for each man, woman, and child on Earth. The transistor's low cost, flexibility, and reliability have made it a ubiquitous device. Transistorized mechatronic circuits have replaced electromechanical devices in controlling appliances and machinery. It is often easier and cheaper to use a standard microcontroller and write a computer program to carry out a control function than to design an equivalent mechanical system to control that same function. Topic: 
Simplified operation The essential usefulness of a transistor comes from its ability to use a small signal applied between one pair of its terminals to control a much larger signal at another pair of terminals. This property is called gain. It can produce a stronger output signal, a voltage or current, which is proportional to a weaker input signal, that is, it can act as an amplifier. Alternatively, the transistor can be used to turn current on or off in a circuit as an electrically controlled switch, where the amount of current is determined by other circuit elements. There are two types of transistors, which have slight differences in how they are used in a circuit. A bipolar transistor has terminals labeled base, collector, and emitter. A small current at the base terminal that is, flowing between the base and the emitter can control or switch a much larger current between the collector and emitter terminals. For a field effect transistor, the terminals are labeled gate, source, and drain, and a voltage at the gate can control a current between source and drain. The image represents a typical bipolar transistor in a circuit. Charge will flow between emitter and collector terminals depending on the current in the base. Because internally the base and emitter connections behave like a semiconductor diode, a voltage drop develops between base and emitter while the base current exists. The amount of this voltage depends on the material the transistor is made from, and is referred to as VBE. Transistor as a switch Transistors are commonly used in digital circuits as electronic switches which can be either in an on or off state, both for high power applications such as switched mode power supplies and for low power applications such as logic gates. Important parameters for this application include the current switch, the voltage handled, and the switching speed, characterized by the rise and fall times. In a grounded emitter transistor circuit, such as the light switch circuit shown, as the base voltage rises, the emitter and collector currents rise exponentially. The collector voltage drops because of reduced resistance from collector to emitter. If the voltage difference between the collector and emitter were zero or near zero, the collector current would be limited only by the load resistance light bulb and the supply voltage. This is called saturation because current is flowing from collector to emitter freely. When saturated, the switch is said to be on, providing sufficient base drive current is a key problem in the use of bipolar transistors as switches. The transistor provides current gain, allowing a relatively large current in the collector to be switched by a much smaller current into the base terminal. The ratio of these currents varies depending on the type of transistor, and even for a particular type, varies depending on the collector current. In the example light switch circuit shown, the resistor is chosen to provide enough base current to ensure the transistor will be saturated. In a switching circuit, the idea is to simulate, as near as possible, the ideal switch having the properties of open circuit when off, short circuit when on, and an instantaneous transition between the two states. Parameters are chosen such that the off output is limited to leakage currents too small to affect connected circuitry, the resistance of the transistor in the on state is too small to affect circuitry, and the transition between the two states is fast enough not to have a detrimental effect. Topic. Transistor as an amplifier The common emitter amplifier is designed so that a small change in voltage VIN changes the small current through the base of the transistor. The transistor's current amplification combined with the properties of the circuit means that small swings in VIN produce large changes in VOUT. Various configurations of single transistor amplifier are possible, with some providing current gain, some voltage gain, and some both. From mobile phones to televisions, vast numbers of products include amplifiers for sound reproduction, radio transmission, and signal processing. The first discrete transistor audio amplifiers barely supplied a few hundred milliwatts, but power and audio fidelity gradually increased as better transistors became available and amplifier architecture evolved. Modern transistor audio amplifiers of up to a few hundred watts are common and relatively inexpensive. Comparison with vacuum tubes Before transistors were developed, vacuum electron tubes or in the UK, thermionic valves, or just valves, were the main active components in electronic equipment. 
Topic: <laughs> Advantages. The key advantages that have allowed transistors to replace vacuum tubes in most applications are no cathode heater which produces the characteristic orange glow of tubes, reducing power consumption, eliminating delay as tube heaters warm up, and immune from cathode poisoning and depletion. Very small size and weight, reducing equipment size. Large numbers of extremely small transistors can be manufactured as a single integrated circuit. Low operating voltages compatible with batteries of only a few cells. Circuits with greater energy efficiency are usually possible. For low power applications e.g. voltage amplification in particular energy consumption can be very much less than for tubes complementary devices available providing design flexibility including complementary symmetry circuits not possible with vacuum tubes very low sensitivity to mechanical shock and vibration providing physical ruggedness and virtually eliminating shock induced spurious signals e.g. microphonics in audio applications not susceptible to breakage of a glass envelope, leakage, outgassing, and other physical damage. Topic: <inaudible> Limitations. Transistors have the following limitations. Silicon transistors can age and fail. High power, high frequency operation, such as that used in over-the-air television broadcasting, is better achieved in vacuum tubes due to improved electron mobility in a vacuum. Solid-state devices are susceptible to damage from very brief electrical and thermal events, including electrostatic discharge in handling. Vacuum tubes are electrically much more rugged. Sensitivity to radiation and cosmic rays special radiation-hardened chips are used for spacecraft devices. Vacuum tubes in audio applications create significant lower harmonic distortion, the so-called tube sound, which some people prefer. Types Transistors are categorized by Semiconductor material, the metalloids germanium first used in 1947 and silicon first used in 1954 in amorphous, polycrystalline and monocrystalline form, the compounds gallium arsenide 1966 and silicon carbide 1997, the alloy silicon germanium 1989, the allotrope of carbon graphene research ongoing since 2004, etc. See semiconductor material. Structure, BJT, JFET, IGFET MOSFET, insulated gate bipolar transistor IGBT. Other types. Electrical polarity positive and negative, NPN, PNP, BJTs, N channel, P channel, FETs. Maximum power rating, low, medium, high. Maximum operating frequency, low, medium, high, radio, RF, microwave frequency, the maximum effective frequency of a transistor in a common emitter or common source circuit is denoted by the term feet, an abbreviation for transition frequency. The frequency of transition is the frequency at which the transistor yields unity voltage gain. Application, switch, general purpose, audio, high voltage, super beta, matched pair. Physical packaging, through whole metal, through whole plastic, surface mount, ball grid array, power modules see packaging. Amplification factor HFE, beta F transistor beta or GM transconductance, hence, a particular transistor may be described as silicon, surface mount, BJT, NPN, low power, high frequency switch. A popular way to remember which symbol represents which type of transistor is to look at the arrow and how it is arranged. Within an NPN transistor symbol, the arrow will not point in. Conversely, within the PNP symbol you see that the arrow points in proudly. <inaudible> Bipolar junction transistor BJT. Bipolar transistors are so named because they conduct by using both majority and minority carriers. The bipolar junction transistor, the first type of transistor to be mass-produced, is a combination of two junction diodes, and is formed of either a thin layer of P-type semiconductor sandwiched between two N-type semiconductors an NPN transistor, or a thin layer of N-type semiconductor sandwiched between two P-type semiconductors a transistor. 
This construction produces two PN junctions, a base emitter junction and a base collector junction, separated by a thin region of semiconductor known as the base region two junction diodes wired together without sharing an intervening semiconducting region will not make a transistor. BJTs have three terminals, corresponding to the three layers of semiconductor an emitter, a base, and a collector. They are useful in amplifiers because the currents at the emitter and collector are controllable by a relatively small base current. In an NPN transistor operating in the active region, the emitter base junction is forward biased, electrons and holes recombine at the junction, and the base collector junction is reverse biased, electrons and holes are formed at, and move away from the junction, and electrons are injected into the base region. Because the base is narrow, most of these electrons will diffuse into the reverse biased base collector junction and be swept into the collector, perhaps one hundredth of the electrons will recombine in the base, which is the dominant mechanism in the base current. As well, as the base is lightly doped in comparison to the emitter and collector regions, recombination rates are low, permitting more carriers to diffuse across the base region. By controlling the number of electrons that can leave the base, the number of electrons entering the collector can be controlled. Collector current is approximately beta common emitter current gain times the base current. It is typically greater than 100 for small signal transistors but can be smaller in transistors designed for high power applications. Unlike the field effect transistor see below, the BJT is a low input impedance device. Also, as the base emitter voltage VBE is increased the base emitter current and hence the collector emitter current ICE increase exponentially according to the Shockley diode model and the Ebers-Moll model. Because of this exponential relationship, the BJT has a higher transconductance than the FET. Bipolar transistors can be made to conduct by exposure to light, because absorption of photons in the base region generates a photocurrent that acts as a base current. The collector current is approximately beta times the photocurrent. Devices designed for this purpose have a transparent window in the package and are called phototransistors. Topic: <laughs> Field effect transistor (FET). The field effect transistor, sometimes called a unipolar transistor, uses either electrons in n-channel FET or holes in p-channel FET for conduction. The four terminals of the FET are named source, gate, drain, and body substrate. On most FETs, the body is connected to the source inside the package, and this will be assumed for the following description. In a FET, the drain-to-source current flows via a conducting channel that connects the source region to the drain region. The conductivity is varied by the electric field that is produced when a voltage is applied between the gate and source terminals, hence the current flowing between the drain and source is controlled by the voltage applied between the gate and source. As the gate source voltage VGS is increased, the drain source current IDS increases exponentially for VGS below threshold, and then at a roughly quadratic rate IDS VGS minus VT where VT is the threshold voltage at which drain current begins in the space charge limited region above threshold a quadratic behavior is not observed in modern devices for example at the 65 nanometers technology node for low noise at narrow bandwidth the higher input resistance of the fet is advantageous fets are divided into two families junction fet jfet and insulated gate fet igfet the IGFET is more commonly known as a metal oxide semiconductor FET MOSFET, reflecting its original construction from layers of metal the gate, oxide the insulation, and semiconductor. Unlike IGFETs, the JFET gate forms a PN diode with the channel which lies between the source and drain. Functionally, this makes the N-channel JFET the solid-state equivalent of the vacuum tube triode which, similarly, forms a diode between its grid and cathode. Also, both devices operate in the depletion mode, they both have a high input impedance, and they both conduct current under the control of an input voltage. Metal semiconductor FETs are JFETs in which the reverse biased PN junction is replaced by a metal semiconductor junction. These, and the HEMTs high electron mobility transistors, or HFETs, in which a two-dimensional electron gas with very high carrier mobility is used for charge transport, are especially suitable for use at very high frequencies microwave frequencies, several GHZ. FETs are further divided into depletion mode and enhancement mode types, depending on whether the channel is turned on or off with zero gate to source voltage. 
For enhancement mode, the channel is off at zero bias, and a gate potential can enhance the conduction. For the depletion mode, the channel is on at zero bias, and a gate potential of the opposite polarity can deplete the channel, reducing conduction. For either mode, a more positive gate voltage corresponds to a higher current for N-channel devices and a lower current for P-channel devices. Nearly all JFETs are depletion mode because the diode junctions would forward bias and conduct if they were enhancement mode devices. Most IGFETs are enhancement mode types. Topic: Usage of bipolar and field effect transistors. The bipolar junction transistor BJT was the most commonly used transistor in the 1960s and 70s. Even after MOSFETs became widely available, the BJT remained the transistor of choice for many analog circuits such as amplifiers because of their greater linearity and ease of manufacture. In integrated circuits, the desirable properties of MOSFETs allowed them to capture nearly all market share for digital circuits. Discrete MOSFETs can be applied in transistor applications, including analog circuits, voltage regulators, amplifiers, power transmitters and motor drivers. Other transistor types Bipolar junction transistor BJT. Heterojunction bipolar transistor, up to several hundred GHz, common in modern ultrafast and RF circuits Schottky transistor Avalanche transistor Darlington transistors are two BJTs connected together to provide a high current gain equal to the product of the current gains of the two transistors Insulated gate bipolar transistors IGBTs use a medium power IGFET, similarly connected to a power BJT, to give a high input impedance. Power diodes are often connected between certain terminals depending on specific use. IGBTs are particularly suitable for heavy-duty industrial applications. The ASEA Brown Boveri AB 5SNA2400E170100, intended for three phase power supplies, houses three NPN IGBTs in a case measuring 38 by 140 by 190 mm and weighing 1.5 kg. Each IGBT is rated at 1,700 volts and can handle 2,400 amperes. Phototransistor Multiple emitter transistor, used in transistor transistor logic and integrated current mirrors. Multiple base transistor, used to amplify very low level signals in noisy environments such as the pickup of a record player or radio front ends. Effectively, it is a very large number of transistors in parallel where, at the output, the signal is added constructively, but random noise is added only stochastically. Field effect transistor FET, Carbon nanotube field effect transistor CNFET, where the channel material is replaced by a carbon nanotube. Junction gate field effect transistor JFET, where the gate is insulated by a reverse biased PN junction. Metal semiconductor field effect transistor MESFET, similar to JFET with a Schottky junction instead of a PN junction. High electron mobility transistor HEMT, Metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor MOSFET, where the gate is insulated by a shallow layer of insulator. Inverted T field effect transistor ITFET. Fin field effect transistor FINFET, source drain region shapes fins on the silicon surface. Fast reverse epitaxial diode field effect transistor FREDFET. Thin film transistor in LCDs. Organic field effect transistor OFET, in which the semiconductor is an organic compound Ballistic transistor disambiguation. Floating gate transistor, for non-volatile storage FETs used to sense environment Ion-sensitive field effect transistor IFSET, to measure ion concentrations in solution Electrolyte oxide semiconductor field effect transistor EOSFET, neurochip Deoxyribonucleic acid field effect transistor DNAFET. Tunnel field effect transistor, where it switches by modulating quantum tunneling through a barrier. Diffusion transistor, formed by diffusing dopants into semiconductor substrate, can be both BJT and FET. 
unijunction transistor, can be used as simple pulse generators. It comprise a main body of either P-type or N-type semiconductor with ohmic contacts at each end terminals base 1 and base 2. A junction with the opposite semiconductor type is formed at a point along the length of the body for the third terminal emitter. Single electron transistors set, consist of a gate island between two tunneling junctions. The tunneling current is controlled by a voltage applied to the gate through a capacitor. Nanofluidic transistor – controls the movement of ions through submicroscopic, water-filled channels. Multi-gate devices Tetrode transistor Pentode transistor Tri-gate transistor prototype by Intel. Dual-gate field effect transistors have a single channel with two gates in cascode, a configuration optimized for high-frequency amplifiers, mixers, and oscillators. Junctionless nanowire transistor JNT, uses a simple nanowire of silicon surrounded by an electrically isolated wedding ring that acts to gate the flow of electrons through the wire. Vacuum channel transistor When in 2012, NASA and the National Nanofab Center in South Korea were reported to have built a prototype vacuum channel transistor in only 150 nm in size, can be manufactured cheaply using standard silicon semiconductor processing, can operate at high speeds even in hostile environments, and could consume just as much power as a standard transistor. Organic electrochemical transistor a solaristor from solar cell transistor is a two-terminal gate less self-powered phototransistor. Topic: <laughs> Part numbering standards specifications. The types of some transistors can be parsed from the part number. There are three major semiconductor naming standards in each the alphanumeric prefix provides clues to type of the device. Topic. Japanese Industrial Standard GIS. The GIS C7012 specification for transistor part numbers starts with 2S, e.g. 2SD965, but sometimes the 2S prefix is not marked on the package, a 2SD965 might only be marked D965. A 2SC1815 might be listed by a supplier as simply C1815. This series sometimes has suffixes such as R, O, B, L, standing for red, orange, blue, etc. to denote variants such as tighter HFE gain groupings. Topic. European Electronic Component Manufacturers Association EECA. The Pro-Electron Standard, the European Electronic Component Manufacturers Association part numbering scheme, begins with two letters, the first gives the semiconductor type A for germanium, B for silicon, and C for materials like gallium-3 arsenide, the second letter denotes the intended use A for diode, C for general purpose transistor, etc. A three-digit sequence number or one letter then two digits, for industrial types follows. With early devices this indicated the case type. Suffixes may be used, with a letter e.g. C often means high HFE, such as in BC549C or other codes may follow to show gain e.g. BC327-25 or voltage rating e.g. BUK854-800A. The more common prefixes are Topic. Joint Electron Device Engineering Council The JEDEC EIA 370 transistor device numbers usually start with 2N, indicating a three-terminal device. Dual gate field effect transistors are four-terminal devices, so begin with 3N, then a two-, three-, or four-digit sequential number with no significance as to device properties although early devices with low numbers tend to be germanium. For example, 2N3055 is a silicon NPN power transistor, 2N1301 is a PNP germanium switching transistor. A letter suffix such as A is sometimes used to indicate a newer variant, but rarely gain groupings.
Topic: <laughs> Proprietary. Manufacturers of devices may have their own proprietary numbering system, for example CK722. Since devices are second sourced, a manufacturer's prefix like MPF in MPF 102, which originally would denote a Motorola FET now is an unreliable indicator of who made the device. Some proprietary naming schemes adopt parts of other naming schemes, for example a PN2222A is a possibly Fairchild semiconductor 2N2222A in a plastic case but a PN108 is a plastic version of a BC108, not a 2N108, while the PN100 is unrelated to other XX100 devices. Military part numbers sometimes are assigned their own codes, such as the British Military CV naming system. Manufacturers buying large numbers of similar parts may have them supplied with house numbers, identifying a particular purchasing specification and not necessarily a device with a standardized registered number. For example, an HP part 1854 0053 is a JEDEC 2N2218 transistor which is also assigned the CV number CV7763. Topic. Naming problems With so many independent naming schemes, and the abbreviation of part numbers when printed on the devices, ambiguity sometimes occurs. For example, two different devices may be marked J176. One the J176 low power JFET, the other the higher powered MOSFET 2SJ176. As older through hole. Transistors are given surface mount packaged counterparts, they tend to be assigned many different part numbers because manufacturers have their own systems to cope with the variety in pinout arrangements and options for dual or matched NPN plus PNP devices in one pack. So even when the original device such as a 2N3904 may have been assigned by a standards authority, and well known by engineers over the years, the new versions are far from standardized in their naming. Topic Construction Topic Semiconductor material The first BJTs were made from germanium J. Silicon C types currently predominant but certain advanced microwave and high performance versions now employ the compound semiconductor material gallium arsenide gallium 3 arsenide and the semiconductor alloy silicon germanium SIGE Single element semiconductor material J and C is described as elemental Rough parameters for the most common semiconductor materials used to make transistors are given in the adjacent table. These parameters will vary with increase in temperature, electric field, impurity level, strain, and sundry other factors. The junction forward voltage is the voltage applied to the emitter base junction of a BJT in order to make the base conduct a specified current. The current increases exponentially as the junction forward voltage is increased. The values given in the table are typical for a current of 1 mA the same values apply to semiconductor diodes. The lower the junction forward voltage the better, as this means that less power is required to drive the transistor. The junction forward voltage for a given current decreases with increase in temperature. For a typical silicon junction the change is minus 2.1 mV per degree Celsius. In some circuits special compensating elements sensistors must be used to compensate for such changes. The density of mobile carriers in the channel of a MOSFET is a function of the electric field forming the channel and of various other phenomena such as the impurity level in the channel. Some impurities, called dopants, are introduced deliberately in making a MOSFET, to control the MOSFET electrical behavior. The electron mobility and hole mobility columns show the average speed that electrons and holes diffuse through the semiconductor material with an electric field of 1 volt per meter applied across the material. In general, the higher the electron mobility the faster the transistor can operate. The table indicates that J is a better material than C in this respect. However, J has four major shortcomings compared to silicon and gallium arsenide. Its maximum temperature is limited. It has relatively high leakage current. It cannot withstand high voltages. 
It is less suitable for fabricating integrated circuits, because the electron mobility is higher than the hole mobility for all semiconductor materials. A given bipolar NPN transistor tends to be swifter than an equivalent PNP transistor. Gallium 3 arsenide has the highest electron mobility of the three semiconductors. It is for this reason that gallium 3 arsenide is used in high frequency applications. A relatively recent FET development, the high electron mobility transistor HEMT, has a heterostructure junction between different semiculture materials of aluminium gallium arsenide algas, gallium arsenide, gallium 3 arsenide, which has twice the electron mobility of a gauze metal barrier junction. Because of their high speed and low noise, HEMTs are used in satellite receivers working at frequencies around 12 GHz. HEMTs based on gallium nitride and aluminium gallium nitride Algen, Gon HEMTs provide a still higher electron mobility and are being developed for various applications. Max, junction temperature values represent a cross-section taken from various manufacturers' data sheets. This temperature should not be exceeded or the transistor may be damaged. Al-C junction refers to the high-speed aluminum silicon metal semiconductor barrier diode, commonly known as a Schottky diode. This is included in the table because some silicon power IGFETs have a parasitic reverse Schottky diode formed between the source and drain as part of the fabrication process. This diode can be a nuisance, but sometimes it is used in the circuit. Topic: <laughs> Packaging. Discrete transistors can be individually packaged transistors or unpackaged transistor chips dice. Transistors come in many different semiconductor packages see image. The two main categories are through hole or leaded, and surface mount, also known as surface mount device SMD. The ball grid array BGA is the latest surface mount package currently only for large integrated circuits. It has solder balls on the underside in place of leads. Because they are smaller and have shorter interconnections, SMDs have better high-frequency characteristics but lower power rating. Transistor packages are made of glass, metal, ceramic, or plastic. The package often dictates the power rating and frequency characteristics. Power transistors have larger packages that can be clamped to heat sinks for enhanced cooling. Additionally, most power transistors have the collector or drain physically connected to the metal enclosure. At the other extreme, some surface mount microwave transistors are as small as grains of sand. Often a given transistor type is available in several packages. Transistor packages are mainly standardized, but the assignment of a transistor's functions to the terminals is not. Other transistor types can assign other functions to the package's terminals. Even for the same transistor type the terminal assignment can vary normally indicated by a suffix letter to the part number, Q, E, BC212L and BC212K. Nowadays most transistors come in a wide range of SMT packages, in comparison the list of available through-hole packages is relatively small, here is a short list of the most common through-hole transistors packages in alphabetical order. ATV, E-Line, MRT, HRT, SC43, SC72, to 3, to 18, to 39, to 92, to 126, TO220, TO247, TO251, TO262, ZTX851. Unpackaged transistor chips die may be assembled into hybrid devices. The IBM SLT module of the 1960s is one example of such a hybrid circuit module using glass passivated transistor and diode die. Other packaging techniques for discrete transistors as chips include direct chip attach DCA and chip on board Cobb. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Flexible transistors. Researchers have made several kinds of flexible transistors, including organic field effect transistors. Flexible transistors are useful in some kinds of flexible displays and other flexible electronics. See also Directory of external websites with datasheets 
2 N3904 halves N3906, BC182, BC212 and BC546, BC556, ubiquitous, BJT, general purpose, low power, complementary pairs. They have plastic cases and cost roughly 10 cents US in small quantities, making them popular with hobbyists. AF107, germanium, 0.5 watt, 250 MHz PNPBJT. BFP183, low power, 8 GHz microwave and PNBJT. LM394, supermatch pair, with two NPNBJTs on a single substrate. 2N2219A, 2N2905A, BJT, general purpose, medium power, complementary pair. With metal cases they are rated at about 1 watt. 2N3055 per MJ2955, for years, the NPN 2N3055 has been the standard power transistor. Its complement, the PNPM J2955 arrived later. These 1 MHz, 15A, 60V, 115 WBJTs are used in audio power amplifiers, power supplies, and control. 2SC3281 halves SA1302, made by Toshiba, these BJTs have low distortion characteristics and are used in high power audio amplifiers. They have been widely counterfeited. 1. BU 508, NPN, 1500 volts power BJT. Designed for television horizontal deflection, its high voltage capability also makes it suitable for use in ignition systems. MJ 11012 per MJ 11015 to 30A, 120 volts, 200W, high power Darlington complementary pair BJTs. Used in audio amplifiers, control, and power switching. 2N5457 halves N5460, JFET depletion mode, general purpose, low power, complementary pair. BSP296, BSP171, IGFET enhancement mode, medium power, near complementary pair. Used for logic level conversion and driving power transistors in amplifiers. IRF3710, IRF5210, IGFET enhancement mode, 40A, 100 volts, 200W, near complementary pair. For high power amplifiers and power switches, especially in automobiles. <laughs> 